Question 20, have a go. So, uh, a difficult factorization when you've got a coefficient of x squared which is not 1. So one way of doing this is to say, right, which two numbers multiply to make 8, 8 being 2, 4s are 8, but added equal minus 9, minus 9 being the coefficient of x, these two numbers being minus 1 and minus 8. Now we then split this middle term into a minus 1 and minus 8, it doesn't matter which way around. So the first and the fourth terms remain the same, but we split the middle term. I've gone minus x, then minus 8x. You then go and fully factorise the first two terms, which is x, 2x, minus 1, and then fully factorise the last two terms, which is minus 4, 2x, minus 1, making sure the two brackets are the same. Now, uh, our final solution is then what's presently not in a bracket, so the x minus 4, and presently what's repeated in the two brackets, 2x minus 1. And you'll see, if you do FOIL on this, you end up with where we started. So that's our solution. Now, hence or otherwise for part B, so I've done it hence. So this is what we've just factorised. So I've replaced that with the pair of brackets, this equaling what's on our right-hand side, two lots of this. Now, our, we've got a double solution here. One solution is effectively where these two become naught. Okay, we've got a 2x minus 1 and a 2x minus 1. So if we basically, whatever makes that naught, naught lots of whatever equals naught lots of whatever. So that's one solution coming from 2x minus 1 being naught. Now effectively then we consider those cancelled out. And then so our second solution comes from what remains, which is x minus 4 equaling 2x minus 1. So that's where we get our two solutions. So solving this we get x being a half. Solving this we get x being minus 3.